we decided to make our podcast about uncovering the books in the Bible that are not traditionally found in the King James Version. We're reading the Holy Scriptures based off of the Ethiopian text, the collection of all the lost texts of the Bible that were taken out by the Roman Catholic Church during the Crusades. So we're going to start at uh, Jasher. If you want to follow along with us, you can go to thetruthofgod.com and find the Holy Scriptures on their website. That's where we got ours from. Dad, do you want to show them your copy of the scriptures? They're from the page so they can see what it looks like. Just for the camera. Holy Scriptures. Holy Scriptures. Full collection of all the books of the Bible. Lord's Prune of Dismal. The Holy Scriptures. She's about an eight pounder. Yes. That's quite a few books. Are we long video? No, we're still good. So we're going to start from uh, chapter one. Elder reads first, and we'll go in order from age. The book of Jasher. Mentioned in Joshua 10, 13, 2 Samuel 1 through 18. Chapter 1. And God said, Let us make men in our image, after our likeness. And God created man in his own image. And God formed man from the ground, and he blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul, endowed with speech. And the Lord said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make unto him a help meet. And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took away one of his ribs, and he built flesh upon it, and formed it, and brought it to Adam. And Adam awoke from his sleep, and behold, a woman was standing before him. And he said, this is bone of my bones, and it shall be called woman. But this has been taken from man. And Adam called her name Eve, for she was the mother of all living. And God blessed them and called their names Adam and Eve in the day that he created them. And the Lord God said, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. And the Lord took Adam and his wife, and he placed them in the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And he commanded them and said unto them, For every tree of the garden you may eat, but from the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat thereof you shall surely die. And when God had blessed and commanded them, he went from them, and Adam and his wife dwelt in the garden according to the command which the Lord had commanded them. And the serpent which God had created with them in the earth came to them to incite them to transgress the command of God which he had commanded them. And the serpent enticed and persuaded the woman to eat from the tree of knowledge. And the woman hearkened to the voice of the serpent and she transgressed the word of God and took from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and she ate and she took from it and gave also to her husband and he ate and Adam and his wife transgressed the command of God which he commanded them and God knew it and he and his anger was kindled against them, and he cursed them. And the Lord God drove them that day from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which they were taken. And they went and dwelt at the east of the Garden of Eden. And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she bore two sons and three daughters. And she called the names of the firstborn Cain, saying, I have obtained a man from the Lord. And the name of the other she called Abel. For she said, In vanity we came to the earth, and in vanity we shall be taken from it. And the boys grew up, and their father gave them a possession in the land. And Cain was a tiller of the ground, and Abel a keeper of sheep. And it was at that expiration 
of a few years that they brought an approximating offering to the Lord. And Cain brought from the fruit of the ground, and Abel brought from the firstlings of his flock, from the fat thereof. And God turned and inclined to Abel and his offering. And a fire came down from the Lord from heaven and consumed it. And unto Cain and his offering, the Lord did not turn, and he did not incline to it, for he had brought from the inferior fruit of the ground before the Lord. And Cain was jealous against his brother Abel on account of this. And he sought a pretext to slay him. And as some time after, Cain and Abel, his brother, went one into the field to do their work. And they were both in the field, Cain tilling and plowing his ground, and Abel feeding his flock. And the flock passed that part which Cain had plowed in the ground. And it sorely grieved Cain on this account. And Cain approached his brother Abel in anger, and he said to him, What is there between me and thee, that thou comest to dwell and bring thy flock to feed in my field? And Abel answered his brother Cain and said to him, What is there between me and thee, that thou shalt eat the flesh of my flock and clothe thyself with their wool? And now, therefore, put off the wool of my sheep, which, which thou hast clothed thyself, and recompensate, and recompensate me for their fruit and flesh which thou hast eaten. And when thou shalt have done this, I will then go from thy land as thou hast said. And Cain said to his brother, Abel, surely if I slay thee this day, who will require thy blood from me? And Abel answered Cain, surely, sh saying, surely God who has made us in the earth, he will avenge my cause and he will require my blood from thee, shouldest thou slay me. For the Lord is the judge and our bitter, mm -hmm. and it is he who will requit man according to his evil, and the wicked man according to the wickedness that he may do upon earth. And now, if thou shouldest slay me here, Surely God knoweth thy secret views and will judge thee for the evil which thou doest declare to do unto me this day. And when Cain heard the words with Abel, his brother had spoken, behold, the anger of Cain was kindled against his brother Abel for declaring this thing. And Cain hastened and rose up and took the iron part of his plowing instrument from which he suddenly smote his brother and slew him. And Cain was split, and Cain spilt the blood of his brother Abel upon the earth. And the blood of Abel streamed upon the earth before the flock. And after this, Cain repented, having slain his brother. And he was sadly grieved, and he wept over him, and it vexed him exceedingly. And Cain rose up and dug a hole in the field, wherein he put his brother's body, and he turned the dust over it. And the Lord knew what Cain had done to his brother. And the Lord appeared to Cain and said unto him, Where is Abel, thy brother, that was with thee? And Cain dissembled and said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord said to him, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth upon me from the ground where thou hast slain him. For thou hast slain thy brother and hast dissembled before me and doest imagine in thy heart that I saw thee not, nor know all thy actions. But thou didst this thing and didst slay thy brother for naught and because he spoke rightly to thee. And 
Now, therefore, cursed be thy from the ground which opened its mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand, and wherein thou didst bury him. And it shall be when thou shalt till it, it shall no more give thee its strength as in the beginning. For thorns and thistles shall be the ground produced, and thou shalt be moving and wandering in the earth until the day of thy death. And at that time Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, from the place where he was, and he went moving and wandering in the land toward the east of Eden, he and all belonging to him. And Cain knew his wife in those days, and she conceived and bare a son. And he called his name Enoch, saying, In that time the Lord began to give him rest and quiet in the earth. And at that time Cain also began to build a city. And he built the city, and he called the city, and he called the name of the city Enoch, according to the name of his son. For in those days the Lord had given him rest upon the earth, and he did not move about and wander as in the beginning. And Irad was born to Enoch, and Irad begat me Chayuela, and Michaela begat Methuselah, Methuselah, Methuselah. Chapter two. Chapter two. One of you young men, please take that. All right. I'm gonna start. We're gonna go in uh, age progression. Would you like to recap what we read, or keep pushing forward? Yeah, I mean, if you would like to, we can. Never recap. Yeah, let's do a recap. Well, I'll tell you Good what. Idea. Let's do that. All right. Yeah, we'll read one. That's good. Yeah, we'll read one chapter, and then we'll recap it and go to the next one. I would think, now, since we don't have any questions from our listeners, I can only imagine what right. questions they may have. In the beginning, when I was a youth growing up in the Baptist community, we were always taught that Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. Had no knowledge of the three sisters. Hey, well, I agree. I agree. I, I never knew about that. How about you guys? Did, did you guys know that Cain and Abel had three sisters? Well, if that be the case, after Cain slew Abel, he took his wife. Now, if Adam and Eve were the first on the earth and they had children, who was Cain's wife? Had to be one of his sisters, I'd say. It's not wrong with that, according to what I'm reading thus far, because there's no one else here. Right. Mm -hmm. Seems as though they got together, as the Lord said, and multiplied. The only reason I'm highlighting this, because a lot of people watch a lot of YouTube, and our good friend and comedian, Cat Williams, announced that that was his sister. Right. According to what I'm reading thus far, he's right mm -hmm. in that respect. But there again, he did take her as a wife, Per God's instruction. And so let me cut you off with it. Is this the Cat Williams, um, Cat Williams podcast with Shannon Sharp, or was it the Cat Williams podcast when he did it on Joe Rogan Experience? Remember which podcast it was? The viewers might want to go back and check it out. Mm. I, th I think I remember it. I think it was in the Joe Rogan podcast because I don't think that with Shannon Sharp they talked about anything biblical. They kind of stuck more to like the beef he had. With all the other comedians. I'm not certain, Ethan. All yeah. I know is Cat Williams is an extended comedian mm -hmm. and he's gotten a lot of popularity. And if you uh, see some of his uh, clips on uh, YouTube, I don't think it's either one of the interviews that he mentioned this. I see. It's just that his what he's been saying is called traction. And a lot of people are like, wow, who knew Cat was so deep? Maybe what he's saying is important to us. So let's really listen. Right. I'm just giving you a perspective from the Holy Scriptures. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, do we need to find this in here and really read it? Let's, let's do that. Go back to the verse you're talking about the sisters, or what we're looking at here? We're looking at where God told Cain, uh, when he told Adam and Eve to, uh-oh, 
Good point. The point that Cat Williams was making was Adam and Eve were brothers and sisters, and they were not supposed to know each other. Mm -hmm. That's what Cat Williams said. My point I'm trying to make is Adam and Eve, God told them to be fruitful, to be fruitful and multiply. Right. I'm glad you brought that. You stopped me from that, yeah. guys. I was going down a road that actually the road continues because that was his sisters came, but Adam and Eve were instructed by God to multiply. Right. Cat announced, guys, God put Adam and Eve together, brother and sister. Don't touch the fruit. That's not true. Yeah. So, let's read it. And God blessed and commanded them. And he went from them, and Adam and his wife dwelt in the garden according to the command of the Lord, which he had commanded. Uh, where does it say for them to get together and multiply? Let's see here. Oh, no, if you go to Jasher chapter 1, verse 6. You want me to read it? Read it. And God blessed them and called their names Adam and Eve in that day that he created them. And the Lord God said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Okay. That takes care of Cat. Sorry, Cat. If you're going to talk to the masses, you know, these scriptures are only guides we have. And this was written before time for our learning. That's right. Mm -hmm. If yeah. God made Adam, then he made Eve. He made Eve for Adam. And God and the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Right. And when they were to be fruitful, that means to know your wife. And when they knew each other, they had two sons. Right. Let's read that part so we can highlight it. Okay. Uh, let's go back to where I was just at. 13, and, and, and she called the name of her firstborn Cain, saying, I have obtained a man from the Lord. And the name of the other she called Abel. For she said it was in vanity. Okay. So when they had the daughters, they kept it moving, and, they, and we heard nothing else about that. Right. So let's find that. When they talk about they had daughters. When they had two sons That's, and three daughters. Uh, you go to Jasher chapter one verse twelve. Let me start. Please. And the Lord God drove them from that day from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which they were taken. And they went and dwelt at the east of the Garden of Eden. And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she bore two sons and three daughters. Okay. What's the name of the three daughters? Does anyone know that? That's I a good believe question. Through the team of Eden would make yeah. Yeah. And that's right. one beautiful thing of the Holy Scriptures. It has an order. Right. When these questions creep up in your mind, hold your foot. Just read the next chapter. Continue reading, mm -hmm. and this had it taught. This scriptures link in, and they explain these things. Mm -hmm. If you have an issue in your life, and you like, what do I do? Don't ask your friend if you want to know the truth, because they're going to give you what they call the truth. Mm -hmm. Seek ye knowledge from some holy scriptures. All right, that was good. So, and what else you guys think? They, our uh, listeners may uh, want to. That was big to me. Right. You know. Well, they probably are curious about the name of the city that they they call the city Enoch. Oh yeah. Because I never they never talked in the original Genesis. I don't believe they mentioned the name of the city. I don't think. Let's check. Let's go to Genesis and see. You do that in the let's see, and I'm gonna read that. I'm gonna go if, if you if in Jasher chapter 1, verse 35. Uh, actually, I'm gonna start at 34. And Cain knew his wife in those days, and she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Enoch, saying, In that time the Lord began to give him rest and quiet in the earth. And at that time, Cain also began to build a city, and he built the city and called the name of the city Enoch according to the name of his son. For in those days the Lord had given him rest upon the earth, and he did not move about and wander as in the beginning. Now, I wanted to highlight that too, because when I read that the first time, mm -hmm. I always was under the impression that Cain never got any rest. 
like God just was always mad at him. But right here, it's showing, it's I'm, like it's showing that God's. It's just an example of God's mercy. And it seemed mm -hmm. like to me that they took these books out to not show how much how merciful God really is. And then they also show, because this is the first example of His mercy. True. Then also you know? show too uh, repentance. Hmm. Cain repented from that, and he was so grieved and vexed, and vexed his spirit, and he was crying. Right. Yeah. They never. And yeah, they didn't really. They made that true. Cain just killed his brother. And kept the push and then he kept moving. Right. No, no right. No That's true. Nothing. That's a good point. The fact that he was crying right after, I never knew that from the beginning. Yeah, either. Listen, yeah. listen, guys. As me being the older of the two of you two here, let me tell you the value of all this, and I'm glad y'all in your generation are speaking about this. Right. Because if you have the wrong scriptures. This anger is built up and you think there's no hope. As though we're looking at doom and gloom, the Lord's going to destroy everybody on this earth with fire and brimstone. Well, I'll tell you what, that is written. However, God is a merciful God. Right, exactly. And we can all get together, learn his order and his rules. Guess what we can do? God has mercy. He changed, hey, he changed his mind. He, he just showed he changed his mind. He did. He said he, he changed repented. his mind. He repented. Yeah. <laughs> he repented. And God said, I'll give him a little break. I said, I'll give him a little break. Give him a little break. Give him a little break. Just like, just like <laughs> your own father. Right. Because God is our father in heaven. Mm -hmm. This is my son here. He's done some things. I tore his. I, but here he is. Right. You know? Yeah. What? You know, you don't want, God is merciful. Another thing I wanted to add as well. Is that um, it actually does mention in uh, Genesis, but what uh, some people confuse is that Cain had a son called Enoch, and Seth also had a son called Enoch. They both had sim they had uh, used uh, the same name for their children. Oh mercy! So you're saying this Enoch is not the Enoch that, that we are thinking of? Yeah, it's not. Well, Enoch. I'm glad you said that. That God, I mean, that that's the value of having three men. Right. On these scriptures, mm -hmm. and that's the value of reading things yourself, right? Because, Be because everyone's if you'd have asked me in the street today, I would have told you the book of Enoch that's forbidden that we don't read. The banned book was the son okay. of Cain. Right. You're telling me that's not the Cain, that's not the Enoch. It's a different Cain. Different Guess what, guys? That's the value of getting together with some like minded individuals and reading these scriptures. Yeah. And, and the cool thing is, as we continue to read, we're going to know exactly. Who Enoch's dad was? Very but like, just like we're just we don't want to spoil you guys yet. Like we want you guys <laughs> to tune into the next podcast. That's why I'm gonna tell you everything. Right. Uh, but hey, that was good. That was good. You got you got you guys want to uh, recap some more, or you want to get to a stopping point? Mm -hmm. Move it to uh, second seven. You want to get all right? Well, All right. Who's the read? Do you have time? You got you good on time? What time is it? It's double. We're gonna verify the time. Good time. Good on time. Good on time. All right. All right. Well, so I'm, I'm gonna start. We got chapter two. And that, okay. Unless you want to keep reading. Yeah. Listen, I, one chapter is enough for now. I want, you, I want to hear one of you guys read. All right. I'm, I'm going to read chapter two. I, read, time, I'm a, like honestly chapter speaking, two. guys, reading these scriptures really make you feel good inside. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they really, they really <laughs> make you feel good. Let me get one in. All right. Uh, cha chapter two. Uh, we're starting to turn chapter, chapter two, verse one. If you guys want to follow along at home. And it was in the 113th or 30th, 130th year of the life of Adam upon the earth, that he again knew his he that he again knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare a son in his likeness, and in his image, and she called his name Seth, saying, Because God has appointed me another seed in place of Abel, for Cain has slain him. And Seth lived one hundred and five years, and he begat a son. And Seth called the name of his son Enosh, saying, Because in that time the sons of men began to multiply and to afflict their souls and hearts by transgressing and rebelling against God. And it was in the days of Enosh that the sons of men continued to rebel and transgress against God, to increase the anger of the Lord against the sons of men. And the sons of men went and they served other gods, and they forgot the Lord who had created them in the earth. And in those days, the sons of men made images of brass and iron, wood and stone, and they bowed down and served them. And every man made his God, and they bowed down to them. And the sons of men forsook the Lord all the days of Enosh and his children, 
And the anger of the Lord was kindled on account of their works and abominations which they did in the earth. And the Lord caused the waters of the river of Gihon to overwhelm them, and, destroy, and he destroyed and consumed them, and he destroyed the third part of the earth. And notwithstanding this, the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways, and their hands were yet extended to do evil in the sight of the Lord. Yeah, I, I, I want to cut you up. I want to yeah. pause right there. The river of Gihon? On that verse. Oh, which one? It, it specifically shows and says that it was a, a third part of the earth and not the whole entire earth. That's another misconception that <clears throat> many people have that the whole earth was flooded. But it says in that part only a third part of the earth. Well, I don't think that we're talking about the same flood. I think this yeah. is a different situation because uh, we haven't gotten to know it yet. Listen, this, this listen. isn't the flood of, of that. This is a there, so we have already uh, disclaimer. We kind of yeah. went through this already. So this is a different flood. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I agree. I'm just showing how there's different. Oh, there's states. different floods. I mm -hmm. see. People don't even know there was different yeah, floods. That's okay. why. It's, that's why there's different areas that have different uh, parts of uh, that are eroded. Uh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. I see you going with the uh, and this Gihon. We all agree this is in Africa. Mm -hmm. This is in Africa, just yeah. so everyone knows. Okay, all right. You want me to keep going? You yeah. solid. All right. Uh, so we're going to start back at Joshua chapter two and verse seven. And in those days, there was neither sowing nor reaping in the earth, and there was no food for the sons of men, and the famine was very great in those days. And the seed which they sowed in those days in the ground became thorns, thistles, and briars. For from the days of Adam was a declaration concerning the earth of the curse of God, which he cursed the earth on account of the sin which Adam sinned before the Lord. And it was when men continued to rebel and transgress against God and to corrupt their ways that the earth also became corrupt. And Enosh lived ninety years, and he begat Can Canaan, Canaan. And Canaan grew up and was forty years old. And he became wise and had knowledge and skill and all wisdom. And he reigned over all the sons of men. And he led the sons of men to wisdom and knowledge. For Canaan was a very wise man and had understanding and all wisdom. And with his wisdom he ruled over spirits and demons. And Canaan knew by his wisdom that God would destroy the sons of men for having sinned upon the earth. And that the Lord would in the latter days bring upon them the waters of the flood. And in those days, Canaan wrote upon tablets of stone what was to take place in the time to come. And he put them in his treasures. And Canaan reigned over the whole earth. And he turned some of the sons of men to the service of God. And when Canaan was 70 years old, he begat three sons and two daughters. And the names of the, of the children of Canaan, the name of the firstborn was Mahalel, the second, Enan, and the third, Merid. And their sisters.